So I'm working on this capacitive touch skin grid. It's a silicone with stainless steel conductive thread in a grid pattern. Six horizontal, six vertical. All wired up. And um, that goes down to a NPR 121 sensor board, which then goes over to the Nano and to the laptop. You can see in the um, Arduino plotter that I've got uh, several lines representing the different horizontal and vertical threads, and I think I've figured out most of them. Um, I think I've plotted out all the horizontal ones. If you watch on here, if I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna press each one of them, and we're gonna start at the bottom down here, horizontal. You can see, first one should be light blue, so you can see it spike when I push it, so that. One at the bottom is light blue, and the next one up would be pink. You can see when I push it, it spikes. Next one after that, do it a few times because it's looking like it's green, but I don't think it's actually the green. I think it's a light orange. Let me see. Yeah, see how the light orange spikes? getting some crossover. Let's see. The green drops when I do that. I'm going to push it to a different location. Yeah. I'm going to go to the next one. Let it calm down. Okay, so the next one I got green spiking, see? go back to the one previous. I think it's a, a light orange. Or, let's see. I'm going to start at the beginning because this is confusing. Okay, there's the light blue. I'm getting two here. Typically that happens when you're right at the one of the crosses. So if you hit here, you should get this one and this one spiking. And that's how you know what area the grid you're in. At least that's the idea. So I'm going to start over. We've got the light blue. <laughs> Still getting that pink and yellow here. Should be just pink, I think. Okay, there's the spike on pink. Next one up. I think it's that light orange. Let's see. Yep, there it is. So light orange. That green keeps showing up. But I don't think it's a green. Oh no, there it goes. Maybe it is green. Maybe that next one is green. Oof. <laughs> There's the orange, and the final one is the darker blue. So horizontally, I think it's fairly mapped out. Now I'm going to try the vertical, and see, it's showing here eight values, but I should have 12, so I'm not really sure. Some of them are obviously not showing up either with, um, I may have a connection issue on one of these. Um, these all seem to be working fine, but I think I might have a connection issue on one of these. So anyway, yeah, it's, it's getting a little bit, um, not as exact as I would like it to be. So what I think I'm gonna do for this next experiment is I'm gonna back off and not 
have it be so complicated. And I'm going to start with maybe three parallel threads and just work on those, just identifying them, see what they look like, see what their ranges are um, at a specific depth of silicone. And then work my way up to finding the best way of making this grid pattern. Because while this is successful and has been successful, as far as um, delivering sensor data, it, it's a little confusing and it's not consistent. So, yeah, I'm going to step back from this and I'm going to go back to a simpler design um, and, and see what I can get there. <laughs> 